And I want to finish with this nightcap. Nightcap is a new award where uh, I use this segment as an excuse to try new whiskey or tequila or gin or a, a beer I haven't tried before. We're, me and Fax are going to toast a, a lineman of the week, a rusher of the week, an offensive lineman of the week uh, every Sunday night. And we're going to take a, a swig of, yeah, I, I want the redemption bourbon. Where did we get this? Wookie? It might have been Wookie. W Wookie got us the Angel's Envy. It's not going to be much of a drum roll. There's not going to be much suspense. There's only one guy who, who could get the, uh, get the Nightcap Award, uh, the first annual Nightcap Award, and that's Chandler Jones, man. I remember two years ago, I was on Twitter arguing, which is something I don't like doing anymore. I was arguing, though, with a blue check. His name's TJ Lang. He's a very, very good football player that I used to play against all the time. TJ is a colorful guy, fun. But he was just loud and wrong. He was loud and wrong about Chandler Jones. I said Chandler Jones was like a top 10 rusher. Um, he disagreed uh, and then went on to to put about like 20 buckets in the win column that year. So I was like, yeah, yeah, TJ Lang, what the fuck do you know? Would you block him? Did you block guys like that your whole career or something? I just, I know great pass rushers when I see them. And uh, Chandler Jones is a Hall of Famer in my book, and I'm not being a prisoner of the moment. You asked me this, you know, uh, a year ago, I tell you he's got a shot at it. If he can come back from this injury uh, and look like the old Chandler Jones, he's got another 50 or 60 sacks in him, dude. I'm just telling you, the guy is an artist. So I'm going to watch the video of his five sacks right now, and, and I'll be back in 30 seconds because I really wanted to make sure these were all earned before I kind of called it a Derek Thomas-esque performance because Derek Thomas has the, uh, has the record with seven sacks, okay. I believe it is. And he was sitting with five in the third quarter. Mm. Like I can remember uh, Antoine Odom, I believe, having five sacks one game. I remember Osi Umanyura having four or five sacks. Umanyura. 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 Umanyura having Umanyura. Umanyura. You should you know what you should do? <laughs> you should you should retire from podcasting, although I'd be very sad, and become like the thing on Google that tells you how to pronounce things. That'd be cool. Yeah. I remember uh OC had five or so against Winston Justice, I believe, the USC tackle. It was in Philly. Uh I'll never forget where I was for that game. This is this is impressive right off an injury like this. So I just found this out as I was watching Chandler Jones's um, magnificent day here. Pops had five sacks. My dad had five. It is so hard. Three is like the like, wow, insane day. People would love to have a day like that. But four is just otherworldly. And then five is like history books. Like you'll always remember if you pay attention to rushers when somebody had five. Other than obviously I don't remember my dad having five. Um, but dominant, dominant for him coming off of, and a lot of times when you have five sacks or three sacks or four sacks, a lot of them might have been freebies, you know, like you would see at the end of the uh, of a Sunday, like, damn, that dude had three on the bus a lot, Nate. You know, we would pass back the sheet to see around the league, like the stats guy would say, oh, this guy had like a lot. And then you go look at the sacks and there'd be a couple boots, a couple freebies. Chandler Jones' first sack in this game was on a boot. So when you're a force player like him, depending on the on the call, your job is to run to the upfield shoulder. You know, uh, now if you're a defensive end in certain defenses, you're supposed to close down the line and then when the quarterback boots out, you're supposed to read him and then redirect, which is really hard. Just do your job though. Yeah. He did his job, but then more, which, you know, which means he forced a fumble, uh, which ends up in, in points for them. And I was saying this just a second ago. I probably missed that play. Like, I was a real good rusher. I, I wasn't like, you know, like a lot of times, I've said this, like I wasn't a great tackler. Like a lot of times I would miss making a big play at times, especially if I didn't earn it. It was like I missed my freebies. He doesn't miss his freebies, bro. In fact, he got the ball out. Um, so yeah, it's a freebie, but that's an athletic play. There's no rush involved. Second rush, play action pass, snatching um, um, Taylor Lewan down, who I said this last week, I don't know what he's going to be like this year. You know, he's 30 years old now. He's coming off an ACL. 
he's a really good all round player. He was never like a, a, a dancer out there. You know what I mean? And you're coming off that. I don't know how he's going to look now, but snatch down, second sack, third one. Uh, Chandler Jones comes with it. And Chandler Jones is so long, and he does such a good job of not breaking stride as he as he goes into his like edge rush, his option rushes. That third sack, that tag dip, he goes and tags his inside number, just tags his inside number to stop Taylor Wan's feet for a, a millisecond. And then just accelerates around him because, uh, by the way, he can also bend down to the ground and dip. The fourth one, oh, Dennis Kelly gets some too. Power, inside, great timing. And then the fifth one's a game. So you have two kind of gimmies, and Saffold didn't sort the game. But taking you under the hood of five sacks, three of them are extremely proficient rushes. To, to have five, you got to have a couple freebies. Unbelievable afternoon for him, especially coming off an injury. What's a game and what's sorting? A game? So oftentimes, like, you know, you'll run an ET, which is basically end first, tackle second. So, like, if I'm a defensive end, I'm going to come it's in there. Two, it's it's, it's when a two-man two, game. It's when two linemen are working in unison to try to confuse offensive the, linemen. the two, offen- two or three offensive linemen that are in front of them. Now, a lot of times, like, to differentiate it, like a, a game versus a stunt, like mm-hmm. a stunt would be like a run stunt. A game mm-hmm. is like a pass game deal. And then I don't know what it, it would vary depending on, you know, a team you're on, what you would call like a four man game. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times you'd have the end and the tackle on, say, the right side crash down and then the, the tackle and the loop opposite A, a gap the loop around. around. And there's all sorts of contingencies in the run game, who's bouncing up in, in, in the pass game and that sort of thing. The two man game in this case was like an ET, I believe it was. And uh, Chandler Jones comes inside. There's no other way to say it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the fucking Titans are pregnant. So Chandler Jones penetrates the B gap and knocks into Roger Saffold. Well, Saffold didn't sort the game well enough. A lot of times, like it depends on what you're doing. You you'll switch sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you'll 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 pass man you'll pass it off. A lot of times, a lot of times you'll stick on it and man it up. They couldn't sort the game. He ends up with the sack. Game game sacks are not like highly skilled sacks. You know, I, a they, lot of times you kind of fall into them. Eh, yeah, you still, still got to make you still got to make the play. You still have to. And make, that's the you and still that's have the part. to make the play. Like as much as you say that, there's a lot of people when you watch them run games, they run them very well, but yeah. it never hits home. Like because you miss a tackle or you're a little bit off. So you still have to make the play. Well, absolutely. All I'm saying is you don't have to, winning a game is not winning a rush unless the end, hey, ET can look sexy for an end. If you, cause I used to love an ET cause then you're like, oh, I can actually win this rush. Like, I don't wanna just, when I got older, I got smarter and I was like, yeah, sure Fletch, you can just hit the B gap as fast as you can and I'll loop around untouched and get the glory. I wanna win the rush, right? Mm-hmm. But games can be a tremendous way to get a freebie. My man had five sacks, and three of them were highly, highly impressive rushes, especially for a guy coming off an injury like his. So cheers to Chandler Jones. It looks like you already took your shot of, uh, what the fuck is this again, Reed? Redemption. redemption. Hey, you know what? This is a redemption arc for Chandler Jones. Shot of redemption here. Cheers, Chandler Jones. Cheers to Chandler Hall of Fame 2034. 97 sacks in his career past Warren Sapp today, 96 and a half. Oh, that's pretty good. Damn, that's smooth. Good Lord, that's some good bourbon. Oh, my God. Redemption bourbon. 